All right. So you find out about this cinema camera that can shoot 14 bit raw 5k and all these different modes and everything for less than $500. So you go down the rabbit hole to Canon EOS M and now you're so close to going to Amazon or eBay or wherever to purchase this camera. But hold on before you do, you must stay to the end of this video because I'm going to give you 10 reasons as to why you probably shouldn't buy that camera. Hold on, hold on, hold on. How are you going to tell someone not to buy the $150 cinema camera when you just bought your second one? Like it may not be for everyone, you know? Some people may not want the challenge and they're like, maybe I want to buy some more at a low price before a lot more people buy them and everything. So I guess, come on man. Reason number one, the learning curve. When I say a learning curve, I mean just the entire process of setting it up, shooting with it, getting the footage off of the camera. And mind you, this this first reason kind of ties into the rest of the reasons that I'm going to give. Like it's a learning curve and you have to have a lot of patience with this camera. The reason number two, why you should not get this $150 cinema camera, there is absolutely no playback or it might as well be no playback because the playback that you get is frame by frame you're watching each little photo within the video being played back so it'll take forever to really watch the full playback reason number three why you shouldn't get this canon usm the cinema camera in the majority of the modes that are available for you to shoot in the preview of what you're seeing on the on the screen it's not accurate not even close to accurate for some of the modes like you'll probably just be seeing not the full picture, but you'll see like just the corner of the actual picture that's, that's, that's being taken. In order to see the full composition, you have to press the info button that gives a real time preview and it's actually showing it frame by frame. So if you're moving, it's gonna be lagging a lot. Reason number four, oh man, it takes a lot more time to process the footage that you capture with this camera. First, you have to eject the memory card. Put the memory card inside of your laptop or your desktop. Oh, don't forget, you have to have the MLV app in order to process the footage. So get the MLV app on your laptop or desktop, and then from there, you import the footage into your MLV app. And then from there, like once it's an MLV app, you can see the footage played back, but it's not being played back in real time. Like you'll be getting played back in like 10 to 15 frames per second. So it's still like real jittery and that's not what you want. Then you gotta export from the MLV app. Once the footage is exported, then you're able to see what you shot. <clears throat> All right, reason up. Yo, man, like how many sandwiches you gonna make? Yo, can you not use up all my bread, man? That's that's keto. It costs a lot. What? That doesn't make any sense. You can't keto and eat bread. Okay. It does make sense. That's why I gotta eat so much in order to get full. <laughs> pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Pretty good. <laughs> all right let's get back to it reason number five why you shouldn't get this camera <sighs> the file sizes just like reason number four like it takes a lot more time to process and like to export and everything and the reason why is because of how big the files are like some of the shortest footage i be getting it, it, it can be like five to ten gigs just like 10 to 20 seconds long worth of footage and that can really eat up your hard drive or your desktop space and when you take up more space then that means you have to invest in bigger hard drives if you have like older laptop you may have to invest in a new computer a new desktop yeah and like all that can add up just by getting this camera reason number six why you shouldn't get this camera that flat screen, like it doesn't come out, at least like the a7 III, like it doesn't flip out, nothing, it's just flat. Like if you try to shoot at an angle, you're not gonna be able to see the footage. Using this camera, like it's almost mandatory for you to have a monitor, it's just so that you can have a better view of what you're actually shooting. Yo, real quick, I just wanna take some time out to acknowledge my sponsor. Now I know some of y'all may be thinking, hold on, he barely have 200 subscribers and he already have a sponsor? Yeah. I do. 
So the sponsor for this video, but also sponsor this channel and sponsor my life is J E S U S. Yeah. Y'all heard it right. Jesus. Now, just to be able to have the opportunity to be able to share my gift with y'all and just being able to post all these videos and everything, like none of this would have been possible without him. Like I've been through a lot. I'm grateful that I don't look like what I've been through. Like I've been homeless. My mom passed away a couple years back and yet I'm still here. I'm not hooked on drugs or alcohol and it's all because of him. So I just want to give him just the glory real quick and let's get back to the video. Reason number seven, why you shouldn't get this camera. There's no grip. This little that that's your grip and like it's really it's really not that comfortable it's hard to to really grip this so you can get steady footage reason number eight as to why you should not get this camera is the crop factor now shooting on a non full frame camera is already a crop factor but with you download magic lantern and shooting with the different modes each mode have different crop factor i think probably 2.5k I think in that mode, I believe like it makes my 24 millimeter look like a 50 millimeter or 48 millimeter. Like if you don't have something that's less than 35 millimeters, like it may be kind of hard for you to get a good variety of shots with this camera because of the different crop factors. Now, reason number nine as to why you should not buy this $150 cinema camera. Well, you know what doesn't make sense? How do you have this delicious cookies and cream ice cream? And you're supposed to be on the keto diet. And this is definitely not keto. Yeah, I know. Like, it's Ain't it's no not way. keto. Like, I have it, you know, for, for balance. You know, like on like the weekends, like my cheat days, you know? So, balance? reason... Yeah. Balance. Okay. That's like me saying, I eat my fruits and veggies five days out the week. Just so I can do crack cocaine on the weekends doesn't make no sense all right man Got room can i can i continue please low light and the max iso is 3200 and that's really not much and like, you will have to have like a real fast lens in order to be able to shoot at night so although like i have done some low light tests with this camera and it did pretty 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 well and reason number 10 the autofocus now this camera it does have autofocus but it doesn't have autofocus and those who use the Canon USM know what I mean yeah that's reason number 10 that's why you shouldn't get this camera because of there's no autofocus but like if you're going to purchase the camera regardless no matter what please go ahead and go down to the description and use the link that I have down there. Like you'll really help me out. Let me know if this changed your mind into purchasing the Canon EOS M. Or let me know if y'all still want to go after and uh, challenge yourself with this camera. Stay tuned until next week because next week I'm going to give y'all 10 reasons as to why you should buy this camera. I'm Christian Najee Brown. Thanks again, y'all. Peace. Reason number 10. My name is Tyrone Biggums. I like to do crack cocaine on the weekends. Yo, can you? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Come on, man, do it with me. Then I'll stop. Bro, I'm not, I'm not, not now. Come on, like, you've been doing this this, this entire video. Can I I'm just not, finish? Come on, man, you know you wanna do it. Shoot!